Hey guys, it's Miss Crystal. It's Wednesday. Um, let's talk about books. So I have four books just like usual, but also um, I just wanted to remind everyone that March to May Million is still going on and we have not like nearly reached our goal. So thank you to everyone that has participated thus far, um, but we, are gonna need more, <laughs> really a little bit more. Um, so send in your pages, anything you got, we're taking it. So just saying, I think that it ends like May 29th. So I will keep reminding people. <laughs> um, the first two books that I'm gonna do are gonna be my middle school ones. And then the next one are gonna be my high school ones. Um, yeah, just so everyone's aware. So I'm gonna start with Lotus Bloom and the Afro Revolution. Um, how cute is this cover? You know, I'm just like such a stiff, like sucker for a cute cover, but this is Lotus and she is not only super cute, but she is a very talented violinist. And so she gets accepted into this prestigious like performing arts school. Um, and I think she begins this novel in seventh grade. And so everything that's, I mean, it's great that she's gotten into this school and everything, but unfortunately, um, unlike her last school, this school's dress code does not permit her to wear her natural hair in the style that she likes, which is this beautiful, you know, free Afro that she's got going on. Um, and so her best friend Rebel convinces her that like, that is, an injustice and that she like needs to fight back against it. Um, so yeah, that starts to bring out the revolutionary in her. And I love to see that progression from kind of just following rules to questioning rules. So yeah. Okay, the super teacher project. Um, this one is by Gordon Corman. It, if you know anything about Gordon Corman, you know that like he's into writing funny books. Um, and some of them are like sci-fi sort of, mystery sort of, the main characters are always a little mischievous. Um, so this is no different. The main character is named Oliver and his home teacher is new, who's just came to this school. And he seems to be like the perfect teacher, like just t picks up slack for other teachers, never complains, always finds and foils um, Oliver's plans for pranks. Um, yeah, so he's just like the perfect teacher. And so that makes Oliver feel like something is off and starts to investigate more into him, which, you know, chaos ensues. So there's that. Okay, Aces Wild. So this one is about this kid, Jack. Um, Jack is the son of these notable casino owners. Um, and so he runs a blackjack ring out of his private school, which is, you know, and I just love like Jack, I kind of, I really love like Jack's voice through this. Like he's kind of seems like a very like stark, um, blunt character, but then also his parents are arrested for their ties to um, like, what is it? What is it? Ties to organized crime. Um, and I mean, not to say that they're not guilty, but Jack is more concerned with how anyone found out and how they got arrested for it. So he starts to investigate like who has it out for his parents. Um, and he employs the help of his asexuality support group. So that's an interesting, I feel like that was an interesting uh, tie into that because you rarely see like asexuality featured um, in YA novels. So yeah, I love that. Okay, highly suspicious and unfairly cute. So this one is a rom-com. Um, I've been kind of seeing it on Book Talk a little bit, but Talia Hibbert usually writes rom-coms for older. And so this is her first like YA one. Um, and this one is about Bradley and Celine. So Bradley is this like popular kid on the football team, um, seems to be like socially, you know, attractive, uh, but he does have OCD. 
that he's been keeping under wraps and has been managing mostly well himself. And then Celine is just like your typical kind of nerd, like blurred, <laughs> you know, and, and she's got all these conspiracy theories and she's got, she's very smart. Um, and Celine and Bradley used to be like, like besties, but then they kind of stopped being friends because of the trajectory of Bradley's social, um, hierarchy becoming steadily higher and so Celine feels like she was left out in the dust and really doesn't have anything to do with him anymore um until they have this kind of outdoor adventure due to their school and she is kind of thrown into a partnership with Bradley and they discover that friendship and feelings still linger there so I don't know Lovers, lovers to haters to lovers, I feel like, is the vibe. <laughs> um, that's it for me. If you saw something that you liked or you have any more questions about any of the books that I mentioned, then please DM us. Also, I will be included a list of these on, in the description section of the YouTube version of this video. That's it for me. See you guys.